Hey. Good morning. I'm the Rotary Tiller. I make no guarantees. <laughs> well, thank you. You know, I was always aware Holden was tinkering with some piece of equipment. I just realize now how many things he did take care of. I tried to make a list. I didn't do it. We'll start. take each thing as it comes. You don't have to take Holden's place, man. Well, nobody can. No matter what some people may think. You okay? Well, I guess things could be worse. I just miss my big brother. You know, I didn't always like what he had to say, but I trusted it. Well, I know it's not the same, but I'm willing to uh, pinch hit for Holden, if you let me. As a matter of fact, there is something that has been bothering me, and I don't know what to do about it. Shoot. It's Lily. I'm afraid Lily is still not handling Holden's death very well. Something happened. Go on. She took some sleeping pills. I don't know how many, but she walked into the pond, and she said she didn't know what she was doing. You don't think she tried to kill herself? Either way, it's not good. Yeah. Okay, so is she... Do you think she's getting addicted again? I don't know. But nobody sees her. She spends most of the time in her bedroom. She and Faith aren't even speaking. Luke is upset. And and I'm sure Natalie and Ethan said something is wrong. Yeah, it's the last thing they need to deal with right now. And that's not the worst of it. The other day... Lily all but attacked me. Why? Damien. What do you do now? Look, it's not really my place to say, but there's been some inappropriate behavior going on over there, and I'm really worried about the kids, Jack. I'm very worried, and I hate to say this, but... but... you gotta tell me. Meg, listen, I promised Holden that I'd look after those kids if anything happened to them, if they're in trouble. You gotta let me know. Whatever is going on with Lily, she is seriously unstable right now. Because that is the only legitimate excuse for letting those kids see what she and Damien are up to. Hi, Faith. What, uh, <laughs> what's going on? Why aren't you in school? I left. You just left? Does your mother know? No, she's inside with Damien again, making out. Hello. Hello, Jack. Hi, Jack. How are you? Uh, perhaps I should have called first. No, don't be silly. Your family. Door's always open for you. Yeah, I thought things might have changed. Faith, sweetie, why aren't you in school? Are you sick? No, she's fine. She just had a bad day. That's all. My sweetheart. Listen, why don't you um, give your mom and I a few minutes to talk things out? Can you go upstairs for a bit? Yeah, okay. Thanks. She listened to you. That's impressive. She's a good egg. Yeah, she is. But she's, she's really been acting out lately. I thought that stage was over, but ever since Holden... Yeah, she's, uh, she's missing her dad. We all are. If it were tears and confusion, I could manage it, but she's been so angry. I, I just don't even know how to get through to her. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really comfortable saying this, but for Holden's sake, I feel I must ask. What's going on with you two? That is none of your business. For me, too. But it is my business. Holden's not only my cousin, he was my best friend. I've got an obligation to his kids. I'm worried about them, Lily. So am I. Lily's doing a terrific job with the children. Which is not easy under the circumstances. Yeah, I understand that, Damien, but this is between Lily and me. Are you asking me to leave? Jack, whatever you have to say to me, you can say it in front of Damien. All right, listen, I don't think that Faith is handling her father's death all that well. She hasn't been herself since she ran out of the funeral. And after what I witnessed just now... What you saw just now? Lily, the kids' lives are changing way too fast. They've been traumatized. We all have. Yes, I know that. But they need someone that they can depend on, someone who's not going to fall to pieces without Why are you warning. To say Wait a minute, I'm not accusing you of anything. And I know it's a lot for you to handle, but for the time being, I think it would be a good idea for Faith and Natalie and Ethan to come stay with me at the farm. You can't take my kids away Lily, from me. hold on. They'd be with family out at the farm. Emma, J Janet, and Meg, we, we could all help keep an eye on them. And they'd feel closer to holding that way. No, this is their home. They, be they belong with their mother, I especially after what's happened. You have no legal right to those children. Okay, time out. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm merely asking you to consider it. 
Why on earth would I? Because you love your kids. Because they're struggling. Don't make it worse by letting them see you with another man in your father's bed. How dare you come in here and start throwing accusations around? What have I said thus far? It's not true. That's not the point. Yes, it is. Obviously, something is going on between the two of you because when I drove up, Faith was on the terrace. She was too upset to come inside because she saw the two of you in here making out. We thought that she was at school. That's where she's hey, supposed listen, to I'm, be. I'm not here to comment on your personal business. But if you're going to flaunt your relationship... We were flaunting kids, it! There's Faith no way is we... very sensitive. The last thing she needs is to be confronted with this right now. You think I'm an unfit parent? No, I think you're tired, Lily. And I think you're overstressed. I think you're grieving. My kids are all that I have left of Holden if you take them away from Lily, me. I'm not taking them away. I just don't think that this is a very healthy environment for them at the moment. Because of me? Yes, absolutely because of you. It is too soon to bring another man into their lives. They have barely had time to deal with the death of their father, who, by the way, was not very fond of you. You know what, Jack? Why don't you worry about your kids? After all the trouble that Parker's been in yeah, for you to did, presume... Did you know that Faith was confiding in Parker? He's worried about her, too. Again, I'm not... I'm not going to tell you how to run your personal life. But these kids... It's too soon to bring another father figure into their life, especially him. I've done nothing by trying to be supportive. Okay, this help. isn't about you, Grimaldi. We're all adults. This isn't the first family member we've lost. But to these kids, losing their dad has changed their entire world. They need to be the center of attention right now. And you don't think I can give them that? Right now? No, Lily, I'm sorry. I don't. I just think that until things change around here, they would be much better off living at the farm with me. Did Meg put you up to this? She's worried about the kids, Damien. We all are. She asked my advice. She didn't do it for the sake of the kids. She did it because she's angry at Damien. Well, can you blame her? The two of you broke her heart. Excuse me. I'll call you later. Jack, you're a good man. I know that you came here with the best intentions. But you are wasting your time. My children aren't going anywhere. I feel like half of me has been ripped off, okay? It's all I can do to keep from curling up and praying to God to take me so that I can be with Holden. Yeah, please don't say that. It's okay. I don't, I don't let the kids see it. But in my heart of hearts, if it weren't for them, there would be nothing for me here. And Damien, he understands that. He, he helps me. He keeps me strong so that I can be strong for my children. But you're not. They see Damien in your bedroom and they assume their father's been replaced. I am devastated that Faith walked in on us. But Damien and I are the only people that know what really happened in that room and we have nothing to be ashamed of. Okay, Lily, you're talking out of both sides of your mouth here. You and Holden were joined at the hip. How could you move on so fast? And with the one guy that Holden would never want for you in a million years. He's gone, Jack. It's the last thing in the world that I wanted, but it's a fact. And no matter what's happened between Damon and me, my husband isn't coming back.